By 1989, half a century of scientific arguments about the formation of the universe seemed to ultimately fold. Modern physics had reached, by that year, a terra firma, a firm ground on this issue. It could set an accurate estimate of the age of the universe at 13.7 billion years. The universe created with a Big Bang, a great split of an unimaginably tiny, incredibly dense singularity. The result is the existence of an inflated, ever-expanding universe of luminous matter and dark energy, an infinite body of gas in vast nebulae, forming stars, planets, and moons, swimming along in rotating galaxies. Bukai refers to this information in the revised 15th edition of his book, The Bible, the Quran, and Science, published in 1993. In that same year, physics enthusiast Richard Varley came across Bukai's book in a perfect timing with his completion of a four-year study of Yusuf Ali's English translation and commentary titled The Meaning of the Holy Quran. According to Varley, his guidance to understanding Islam just radiated from only five words in three Quranic verses. One of these verses contains three words out of the total five, laden with scientific signs addressing conclusively two questions, how the universe came into being and what is the source of life. Verse 30, chapter 21, gave Varley definitive clues. Have those who disbelieve, not seen by the knowledge they acquire, that the heavens and the earth were conjoined in one mass. Then we cause them to split. In December 2011, Varley had something to say about the first two words, one mass and split. To me, when I read it, I, 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 I immediately thought of the, of the Big Bang Theory and, um, and, and the, uh, the formation of the universe. And I thought how strange it was to see something like that in, in a book which I'd, I'd bought with an open mind. <laughs> 